Hey, 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 everybody. How you guys doing today? Totally different video. Going to be here today. Going to be at the cabin. Um, I had a company contact me a couple weeks ago about doing a collaboration, pushing some of their products and stuff, which is awesome. Um, very nice product, actually. It's actually a battery company. Um, Power Queen, they're called. And it's a lithium iron phosphate battery, which are the new way to go with batteries nowadays. So these guys contacted me here by email a couple weeks ago and they wanted me to show something on the channel and all that and feature their batteries. There's going to be a discount code and all that for you guys if you're interested in these, um, which will be in the description of the video at the bottom and all that. And a Canadian and American link. They can actually be bought from both sides of the border So because I have viewers on both sides. Check this bad boy out. I'll give you a little quick shot of what I got here. This thing is basically the newer newest i think technology batteries on the market lithium ion or whatever come out before and now they have the lithium iron phosphate battery which this is this one is even a little more special when the company contacted me and said they were going to set me up and all that send me a battery i told them i it's kind of convenient i just bought a diesel heater and i need a way to power my diesel heater so this would be perfect for that application but i told them that a lot of the time i'm going to be actually camping cindy and i were going to be doing some outdoor winter camping and stuff and the problem up to this date with these batteries is you can't charge them when it's cold out and they're not supposed to discharge in the cold either so the rep that contacted me said well we've got something even better for you check this out and this is the best part of this battery this actually auto heats this battery has a plate in both ends there's a heat plate in here and a heat plate in here and what happens when the battery goes dead or di not dead but discharged and you want to charge it up normally a lithium iron phosphate battery you cannot charge them when they're cold the bms the battery monitor sensor built in will not allow you to do that these ones here will actually, when you hook a charger on, if it's below, I think, 4 degrees, uh, it will automatically, these heating plates will kick in, warm the battery up until it gets to the state in sometimes a couple hours, and then it'll go through a full charge cycle. So pretty cool technology that they can do this now, and that's going to work great for our application. So what I've actually done, I've gone a step ahead, and I'm going to build a power box. And that's what this video is all about. i got a bunch of stuff over here sitting here. I'm going to show you guys in a second. I want this for more than just basically running, you know, the diesel heater up. So with my power box and all that, what I'll be able to do is I'm going to put a dual USB in it. I'm going to have a cigarette lighter adapter plug in there. I'm even going to put a small inverter in there. Uh, the one I'm going to put in it right now is only a 300 watt, a little one, but that's plenty to charge like my laptop and stuff. And that's all I really need to charge. We don't use a toaster oven when we're out camping and it's probably not going to happen in the future. So, and if need be, I have a 1500 watt also that I could install, but it's big, it's heavy, it's bulky. So this is going to be pretty big as it is, but let me show you what I'm working with here, what I got already put together. So what I'm basically working with, went to Home Depot and got this Husky toolbox. The problem was we had a hard time. We looked and looked at different boxes and this battery is quite tall. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to go in this box here and it's going to actually be laid on its side. So it's going to be neat. And I've also made, <laughs> this is an actual wood grain panel I made up to fit in here. Um, it's actually a piece of white birch plywood that I got. I'll show you guys how it locks in here. That sits. You line this notch up in the back on where that sits right in place. What I'm going to do over here, I'm going to have, I'm going to have a watt meter here. If any of you guys know what that is. It's going to be a watt meter sitting here. It's going to be an on-off switch to power everything here. This is going to be the USB, I think. And this will be the cigarette lighter. And this is actually a voltmeter. And then sitting down here is going to be my little inverter. So I'll show you guys what I got here. All right. So what I got are these. This one here is a cigarette lighter adapter. This one is a double USB. And I have another one here. This is a nice little voltmeter. So they're all going to sit in these three down here. Nice high quality switch, illuminated. That's gonna be sitting up here, under there. And these are right cool. These are called a watt meter. Anybody that's ever seen these, that's gonna sit right here. And that will show me how much amperage, how much wattage I'm using. Uh, any draw that's gonna be on these three units, or the, these two, I guess, not the voltmeter, but 
any draw that's on out of here so like through the cigarette lighter plug and stuff when i'm running my diesel heater i'll know exactly how much power that thing is pulling off this battery so and then my little inverter over here just hang on this is my little 300 watt inverter i have so i've had that for a while i bought a coleman solar panel a while back at costco and it came with this free inverter so these wires are going to grate down through those holes and this is going to be wired directly off of the battery and then this switch again will control everything over here so the watt meter and all that so let me put all these things in place and i'll show you what it's going to all look like set up and then i got to flip the board over i'm going to wire everything and the way it'll work is i'll leave the wire long enough when i want to charge it the battery is going to be in the bottom i'll just pick this panel up and the charger is even going to be laying in the bottom here just for storage and i can hook on the battery charge it and then pop the panel back in and go on my way and use it so let me put this all together and show you what it's going to look like before i wire it so how's that looking everybody that's the basic layout of my box you can see I have my USBs here, I have my cigarette lighter thing here, watt meter, power switch, inverters mounted, and a voltmeter. Now don't ask me why I have a watt meter and a voltmeter, because this guy will give me voltage too, but these sometimes can be hard to see unless you're close. This is an illuminated blue voltmeter that when she lights up, she lights right up. So it'll be easy to see that from a distance. And what I'll also have to do, I'll have to cut into the edge of the box down here somewhere as a relief, just make a notch to let wires run out through if we want to close it. Like, we'll be able to use this thing even if it's bad weather, so, because she'll close up tight, no problem at all. And uh, we can put the cover down, and then you could even sit your cell phone in here, plug it in, close the cover, and charge it, right? That's what I really need. I need, like, GoPro batteries um drone batteries you know it's it's there was there's always something we got to charge around here so god only knows what it is you know anyway um what i'm going to do now i'm going to flip this thing over and we're going to connect a bunch of wires on a bunch of these little contacts here and we see if we get this thing to work well guys i've been working away at it here i've got it partially wired that's the switch this is the USB, I think, and the lighter adapter, and this is the voltmeter. So what I've got so far is from the switch over here, these two will go to the battery, positive and negative, okay? Then it's going to go through the switch, through the watt meter, which is this wire, out of the watt meter, and then from the watt meter, it will go parallel to these three. So you basically don't go from one to that, to that, to that. You're going to be a jumper. There's going to be a wire go on to here, another wire come off, go on to here, come off, and they'll finish on the voltmeter here because it'll be kind of the end of the line. So I got to wire these three together, hook it into that, and this needs to be ready to test. Well, there you go, guys. It's all wired up. I've got everything hooked up here, all hooked up here. It's wired down to the battery, which is laying in there. So once it's all hooked up, all I have to do is take this panel, lay it down in place here, line her up, line it up. There, how's that? Look at that. Check the sticker out. That come out nice? Watch this. Look at that. She all works. The watt meter's on. You can't tell that's on. That is, she's powered up. 13.3 volts in that battery. How cool is that, eh? Check this out. Inverter here. That's on, ready to go. And again, I only use a 300 watt inverter. I don't need, you know, we're not out there running microwaves and silly things like that, so. But all in all, overall, I think this thing pumped pretty good, actually, for DIY build. How's that? It's just like an old husky toolbox when she's done, so. Stealthy mode. What I'll probably do in this empty end over here uh, in the bottom is I've got my charger here Which is actually the lithium charger for it and I'll probably put it in there, but it's a pretty heavy lump. So uh, The box right now would probably weigh 30 pounds that battery. I think is 24 pound battery. So but Very happy the way this thing come out. I'm gonna hook a fuse I don't have a fuse in there yet on the inlet side to the power uh, So everything is fused. I'll probably put a 10 or 12 amp in there but anyway, again, I think that's pretty cool. That works well and uh, very nice to see. We're going to try to charge a couple things off it here in a bit. Just make sure everything works. So good for cell phones and whatever, all kinds of stuff. Right, Cindy? Great. Right. All righty. Well, you know what? There you go. I've pretty much got this thing done. We're actually putting it to use here right now. It's sitting on the floor and we are charging 
I have my cell phone over here. We have the inverter on to try it. It's working fine. We have a Dyson vacuum sitting over there on the floor charging up the Dyson at the same time. So very, very cool. It's neat to know that it takes, you can check this out, 8 watts to charge a cell phone. Pretty cool, eh? That's the telemetry out of the watt meter. So you can actually see exactly how much power I'm consuming now out of this. Not the inverter, but the other side with the cigarette lighter plug and with the USBs. That's the important part. Again, using the diesel heater and stuff. That'll be a steady draw. And uh, we go camping on, you know, different trips and that's going to be really, really nice to have this. So, again, a big shout out. Big shout out to Power Queen. Thank you so much, Power Queen, for the battery uh, and the charger that came with it. And this thing is high quality. Uh, you can tell just by looking at it, just the way it's all packaged, the way it comes when you receive your order and that. These guys are, you know, above the, above the best for sure. Um, very nice to see, too. And this is strange. This battery says right on the side, it's supposed to be a 12.8 volt battery. When I charge this, it went up to 13.4, and that's float voltage, they call it normally. But most batteries, I think when you put a load on them, they'll drop down to 12.7, 12.8, and discharge from there. This battery is still showing 13.1, um, and we've already used it ice fishing for two hours the other day, three hours around the diesel heater, and just a couple small things like that. So and it's still showing 13.1 volts. So this thing, they're way ahead of the game, like lead acid batteries, the older style deep cycles that I'm used to always using. These things are far, far superior. 4,000 cycles, this can be discharged down to zero. Uh, depth of discharge, DOD, 100% depth of discharge. You can run this thing 4,000 times, so ten over 10 years. If you go up, I should have read the numbers on it, but if you go to like 50%, it's like 10 or 12,000 cycles. Like it's retarded how long these batteries will actually last if you take care of them. And anybody with, say, lead acid, you're tired of, you know, topping up your acid all the time in the water and that, uh, keeping the electrolyte topped up because they will run out eventually. And actually, I let mine get down a little bit this summer. It's kind of silly. Didn't do the batteries any good. I don't have to check them one day. And they were down a bit uh, below. You can see the top of the cells. Don't have to worry about any of that with a lithium iron phosphate battery. They just, they're maintenance, totally maintenance free. Um, anybody, you know, thinking of converting over, they say as long as you have an MPPT charge controller, which I do have here, uh, if I ever want to convert over and get away from that and actually get into, you know, maybe convert my whole battery bank here over to these things too. I may eventually, I'm not sure how it'll do it yet. But anyway, and again, a big shout out to Power Queen. You know, for the products, the battery in the box that I just built out of it. And uh, again, I'll put a link in the description. There'll be two links, Canadian side, American side. And there's a promo code SPARKIES. If you put that with it, I'll show that in the description. They'll even give you another, I know it don't sound like much, but another 4% off the stuff that's already on crazy, crazy sale prices. I've looked at a few of them online, and their prices are pretty good for the products they have compared to some of the competition. So check them out, Power Queen. Hope you guys like this video. Um, like and subscribe and all that. All kinds more content coming up. I've even got a new project on the go here in my head and I'm probably gonna build it. So it's uh, may something to do a kind of a little travel trailer pod affair. So Cindy thinks I'm crazy, but pretty well been established by now. Anyways, you guys like this content, like and subscribe and check out Power Queen. We'll talk to uh, live simply, remain grateful. We'll talk to you guys soon.